When looking up into the night sky, have you ever noticed that some stars shine brighter than others? It's kind of unfair for us to compare their brightness like this, because one star might be closer to you than the other. If these two stars shine with the same brightness, but this one is closer to you, this star will appear brighter. So a star's brightness is dependent on its proximity to us. This is why astrophysicists don't like to talk about brightness, but instead they talk about a star's power, just like how we categorize light bulbs. But instead of saying power, we like to use a fancier word, luminosity. Luminosity is the total power of EM radiation that a star emits. You can probably guess correctly that a star's temperature and a star's surface area have something to do with its luminosity. The Stefan-Boltzmann law, or sometimes just referred to as Stefan's law, tells us that luminosity is proportional to the star's area and its temperature, but to the power of 4. And the constant of proportionality is known as the Stefan-Boltzmann constant, which is 5.67 times 10 to the power of minus 8 watts per meter squared per kelvin to the power of 4. We use the symbol sigma for Stefan-Boltzmann constant. Temperature here is the star's surface temperature, and it's measured in degrees kelvin. We know that stars aren't perfectly spherical, but to simplify things, we like to say that a star is a perfect sphere, so that its area is 4 pi r squared. Substituting this into Stefan Boltzmann's equation, we get luminosity is equal to 4 pi r squared times Boltzmann constant times the temperature to the power of 4. So this equation shows us that as radius increases, luminosity also increases. And we can say the same for temperature. But since temperature is raised to a power of 4, it has a much larger effect on luminosity than the radius. Why don't we use this equation and try a question like this? Star A has twice the radius of star B, but only half the surface temperature. Find the ratio of the luminosity of star A to luminosity of star B. Some of you might be able to do this question directly in your head, but I'm going to do this step by step showing you the method. For star A, the radius is twice the radius of star B. So if I let the radius of star B be capital R, then the radius of star A must be 2R. If I let the temperature of star B be T, then the temperature of star A is half of T. We can now use the luminosity equation to write down the luminosity of these stars. Luminosity of star A is 4 pi times by 2R to the power of 2 times Stefan Boltzmann constant times half of T to the power of 4. Luminosity of B is 4 pi times R squared times Stefan Boltzmann constant times T to the 4. Now to get their ratio, we need to divide one by the other. And then we cancel the constant. So we get a ratio of 1 to 4. This means that star A only has a quarter of star B's luminosity. Or you can think of star B being 4 times as luminous as star A. This further illustrates that the luminosity of a star is much more dependent on a star's temperature than the radius. Thanks for watching my video, and if you think you learned something from it, be sure to subscribe!